It was, it's a great pleasure to be here with you all. Um, seven years ago, I got a present. It was a camera. It was so nice to get that present at that time. Um, I started to, to take pictures uh, randomly, let's say. Then I started to think more and more about photography as a passion and as a way of going, let's say. Um, I started to learn by myself, getting more into workshops and uh, taking more um, knowledge about photography. Um, day by day, I found myself that I am really keen in, in developing photography skills for myself. Yes, uh, I developed more and more, and I started to, to participate in uh, international and national exhibitions in Jordan. Then I got uh, awards. Um, one of the awards I got was this picture. I was here in uh, one of the worst refugee camps in Jordan. I went to talk with those uh, kids. We talked about uh, their environment, how they play, and how they interact with their uh, um, actions about, around them. The picture affects me so much. So I started thinking when I got the award that I, I have a, a feelings inside myself that I, I feel so guilty towards them that I use them a little bit to get that award. But uh, this inspired me to take an action for those kids to help more them um, to, to develop the skills they may have or the talent they may have. So here the, the initiative was born. I started thinking of my project, which is Photographic Skills for Little Wonders. It aims to, to teach the students, those little kids, how they can use photography as an um, essential um, talent, let's say, to empower their communities and to get back to their communities. The project is um, for kids from, uh, let's say, from seven years to 17 years old. It aims to, to be running in special poor area of Jordan. This is as, a, as an, an initial part. I aim to, to, to go for those students who have no resources, let's say, no one care about them, no one encourage them to, to see the, the talents inside themselves. So the project I, hmm, sorry, okay. The project is aimed to, to be in three stages. First, first stage is to teach those little kids how they can discover the environment around them, how they can be engaged more in their communities, how they can develop a creative thinking process and how they can get back to their communities as well. This first stage, so they can understand the big picture before they go for the technical issues inside the photography. Then they have to apply the knowledge they got from the first stage. So we have to develop the technical skills of photography. So we, we discuss more about the, how they can use cameras, how they can hold the camera well, what is the rules of photography, and how they can um, and distribute the, their, their art around them. So we, we went through that the project. We applied it for uh, four months ago, let's say. Um, I, what, I, what I noticed is that students have a great potential inside themselves. They need someone to encourage them to find this essential part of themselves. Um, um, main part of my project is the workshops I, I, I used to give to the students. It's con concentrated on special topics, as I said before, like uh, focusing on what is creative thinking and how we can develop such uh, skills. So we, I will go through pictures so we can talk more about the, the workshops. Here we discussed about the different or various jobs we, we have in our communities and what is the effect of each job we have in our community. Like this, we discussed that with limited resources of education, we also may have a good empowerment in our communities and we may get back to our communities. So it's not mandatory to be, in, to be with no schools because you don't have money. No, you can go work for, for such, um, let's say, work and to, you can uh, get back to your community. Then we, after we discuss this, uh, this, this concept, we go through the street, we talk to those people more and more. 
to get back to buy these pictures. Next one. This we were talking about the um, kids' rights and playing uh, in a good environment, let's say, and how we can empower our kids and give them the, the, the good skills to learn more and more. Next one is how, how can we are as a human interact with our, our environment uh, around us? So we can see here as how, how um, an old woman, how can she interact with, with the, the environment um, around herself? Not only the human, as well as the nature around us, how, how we can combine between the little things in, in our nature with the, with the environment as, as a whole. So after all these projects, I find myself in a place where where students now they are not the opposite, the subjects where I have where I used to have pictures for them. Now they are the artists, the photographers, the camera holders as well. So I want to show you something very important, which is what is the feedback of those students about this, the project after we applied it for four months. عمري 17 سنة كنت فاهم التصوير عن إشي ثاني لما تعلمت وفتت بورشة تصوير عرفت كل الأشياء يعني كيف نستخدم الكاميرا كيف من نأخذ من كل زاوية صح يعني تعلمنا أشياء كثير بالتصوير وكيف نكون كلنا مجموعة واحدة إيد واحدة ويعني كيف نستخدم الموقع الإنترنت على أشياء يعني ندور على التصوير أشياء مصورين وأشياء يعني علمية أنا اسمي محمد هايل تعلمت بورش تصوير كيف إني أصور بشكل صح أو قانون صحيحة كنت زمان أصور عاد صورة عادية وكنت أعرف إنها يعني كنت فكرة حلوة أو شيء بس كانت تطلع كلها عيوب الآن في هاي ورش كيف أخوي أخلي الصورة يعني ممتازة تعلمنا كيف قواعد الصورة من التفليت توزيع الإضاءة وتوزيع الألوان وتوزيع العناصر جوا الصورة توزيع المكونات جواها أنا اسمي حمزة أكرم أبو شاية تعلمت بهذه الورشة إدارة مشروع وتعلمت منها كيف كيف أكون قادر على إدارة المشروع وإن أختار الأشخاص المهمين اللي هم يساعدوني فيها وكمان إنه أحكي تكاليف المشروع تاعي مرحبا أنا سجا ناجي من الأشياء اللي حابة أحكيها آه إني اشتركت بهاي الورشة وأنا كنت البنت الوحيدة ضمن هاي الورشة فكنت لما أجي أطلع بالشارع أصور مع مجموعة شباب كانت نظرة المجتمع إلي غريبة إنه كيف بنت آه من مجتمع شعبي إنه في عادات وتقاليد ممنوع إنه بنت تطلع مع مجموعة شباب فأنا اتحديت هاي الصعوبات وصرت أطلع أصور بدي أتعلم أشياء جديدة حالي. انا علي ابو همام اللي حاب احكي لكم عن اللي تعلمته بالمشروع تعلمت انه لازم يكون عندي هدف اني اعلم الناس اللي تعلمته وما اخبي شيء على حدا لانه شغله التصوير لازم الكل يعرف عنها وشغله ممتعه وحاب يكون عندي مجموعه بعد بعد المشروع هذا ان شاء الله So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm, I'm sorry for the translation didn't appear. Anyway, I will conclude my, my, this video by the students, are, they have a very big potential and we are in our communities in the Arab world have a very big population of youth. We have to invest in them. We have to secure them and to educate our communities how we can engage them all together. Success can be very easily if we have a, big, a very big desire to change. So lead this change and be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you.